Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. We are back again today to talk about the deployment of Screen Connect. In the last session, we spoke about the platform agent and the best practices, how we can deploy the platform agent. And today, we are here to talk about the deployment of Screen Connect. I'm Madan Harikumar, the product manager for the RMM agent. We'll give you a quick walkthrough how the screen connect can be deployed. So when we spoke about the platform agent, the Azure platform agent, it need to get installed on an endpoint. It checks for the product enablement. It downloads and updates itself with all the required RMM components. As part of that particular process, it even evaluates certain set of policies and those policies get applied to the endpoints. <clears throat> so even Screen Connect is a part of the policy which gets deployed post the agent installation. So how we can actually go and deploy Screen Connect for remote access? You can do in simple steps. You need to just define a policy for the remote access, what we are talking about, the Screen Connect policy. Create a package. There will be a set of packages. Or embed this particular policy into a package and assign the package to a site location or via the policy groups. Let's see quickly in the next slide. As I mentioned, we need to define a policy. So how are we going to define? We need to get into the Azure portal, navigate to the policy section that is go to settings, policy, define a remote access setting. So here, if you can see in the window, we have a type called remote access. So select remote access and give the policy a name that can help you to identify what remote access settings have been applied. So you can apply the settings in order to access for servers, for desktops. You can even select the option for a one click. More details about the functionalities related to Screen Connect will be covered in a future uh, webinar. Here we will just talk more around the process how the screen connect can be deployed so once we create a policy we can go to the next section that is creating a package we do see a list of packages already available you can create a copy of that or even use an existing package and select the defined policy and apply the same against a site or even the same can be defined to apply at a partner level. So quickly see how the policy actually gets overridden. If you see from the bottom at an endpoint level, any policy that get applied, it can be overridden by a policy group that is nothing but a group which contains some set of defined conditions for a predefined set of machines at a site level when i deploy those policies will get overwritten with the settings at a site level we can even have a partner level policy which will be applied across all the site locations we do have a global policy but they are actually by default disabled let's quickly see how we can actually uh, create these policies I can give a quick demo. Let me take you onto the control portal. That is the Azure portal. This is our internal test uh, sites and all. So you'll be able to see many machines uh, that are reporting on and off. So when I say you need to go and create a policy, you need to go to settings, click on policies.
so here we have an option add policy i can simply select the remote access i want to get this enabled for servers anti desktops need to give a name remote policy i just simply save it so you can see the policy was added successfully when i click on this i can see what are the settings that are already available <clears throat> i can even change the settings over here in case i don't want for desktops i want only for servers i need to always go ahead and save the settings again okay so i just no change is done i just save i go to the option of packages a policy once defined it will get applied only via a package it cannot be deployed without a package a package is like a carrier which contains all the different policies uh, that are being defined and you want to apply on a device groups or you want to apply at a site level or you want to apply uh, make that as a default partner level policy okay so here i can just go we have already a sample package created uh, so i can create a package or i can use an existing package or i can create a duplicate of the existing package okay i already have one uh, created for remote access uh, if i don't want that actually i can go go to sites so here if you will see you will get to see a list of sites where you want to apply the package i can select a site assign the package so we have a test package called create these are all different uh test packages so i simply say assign the package when i assign actually as this is uh, we are already having policies applied on those machines it is showing me are you want, sure you want to update the package for the selected sites i say yes so assignment is done successfully even i can assign the policy uh, to a policy group uh, we do have a set of uh you know uh, policies that are defined uh, we have different policies for all the functionalities like uh accent agent installation acronyms communicator os patching and all so i can actually use an existing device group and add it to that as well okay now we have already assigned uh, to one of the test site i can quickly go there show you you simply need to go to the sites filter out on the site where i have applied you will be able to see on the machines click on any of the machine you can see the applied policies here the remote access which is visible on this particular machine you can see the policy i have actually added the name as checking uh, so whenever this is already an existing test machine uh, where i have overwritten a particular policy so here if you can see actually uh, when it shows highlighted as Uh, red in color it indicates an existing policy was actually overridden on this machine so for the policies which i have actually created was only having uh, 
enabled for servers and desktops what i did i made it disabled over here when did i mean have actually overwritten on this particular endpoint i can quickly show you for another endpoint where it is already applied Here, if you can see, it is enabled for servers, desktop. So I can actually overwrite any settings if I need for a specific endpoint where I want to have some additional settings of the configuration that need to be available, which is available as part of the remote access. So once the policy gets applied, it takes about 15 minutes where you will be able to take a remote of that particular endpoint. So whenever a policy applies successfully, you will be able to see the options in order to take a remote access or screen connect dashboard or a backstage. When you create these policies and packages, users need to have a create policy permissions every user won't be able to create the policies. And you need to remember that you can only have one package per site when you are actually deploying uh, a package or assigning a package. All right, uh, hope you enjoyed this session and hope this was really helpful in order to uh, how you can go ahead and deploy a screen connect Tomorrow, we are going to have a webinar on agent deployment, best practices, and troubleshooting. Thank you, everyone.